Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and welcome back to another new unit review. Today we are going to take a look at the 2023 Forest River Surveyor Legend Model 202 RBLE. This particular trailer, as we see here equipped today, is going to be 5,002 pounds empty and is going to be 25 feet overall in length. Now this is one of Surveyor's better selling uh, and most popular trailers and it's going to feature things such as a standard outside kitchen, a 60 by 80 true queen bed, completely carpetless slide out, optional theater seats, optional travel rack, good storage, tire pressure monitoring system and central vac, plus a simple 80 watt solar package which, uh, spoiler alert, that will be changing for 2024 but this one does not have that just yet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll jump on to the inside and do a uh, full walkthrough of the interior. Then we'll circle back to the exterior and show you all about this trailer. Let's get started. Okay guys, so we're on the inside of the 202 RBLE Surveyor. And first things first, this is a nice open concept travel trailer. And everybody in their brother builds a version of this trailer and what I want to focus on today is what makes Surveyor different than you know the Cougar version of this floor plan or the Hemisphere or the um, you know pick any trailer that builds a 25 foot rear bath with a super slide and kind of this peninsula kitchen and what makes Surveyor different why is it better why would you pick the Surveyor that's what I want to focus on in this video today and we'll of course cover all the great stuff that Surveyor has along the way. So first things first, one of the things that separates the Surveyor from pretty much any of the other floor plans like this out there in the industry is Surveyor has an 83 and a half inch tall interior. Now it's curved on the exterior, but it's a linear profile on the interior. So you still get the good water runoff that you want, but you get a taller trailer on the inside, which is really nice, especially if you're you know, 6'3", 6'4", 6'5", you have plenty of headroom in here. And it also gets you bigger cabinets, more room in the shower, all great things. So we have done an optional piece of furniture in this particular one. This is how I'm typically going to bring these in when we have a 202 in stock, is with the theater seats. Now the reason I prefer the theater seats in this floor plan, and I think most people do, as opposed to the hide -a bed sofa, which is the next most popular, or the two bench dinette, is because, you know, you've got the little breakfast bar we'll see here in a little bit. You don't need two places to eat. You need a place to sit down, relax, kick your feet up, watch TV, you know, just wind down after a long day of driving to wherever you're going or just a long day of out sightseeing or hiking, you know, what have you. Um, and that's the big benefit of the theater seats. Now, as you can see here, this does have the lagoon table. Now, that's fully removable. You can take that off, throw it away. Um, please don't do that. That really hurts your trading value if you do that, but you can take it off, um, swivel it around out here. As you can see, it moves up, down, left, right. The only thing it doesn't do is do a backflip. But one of the other nice things is this is more of a love seat right now. But if you want a little bit of separation, this does have the console that comes down, kind of like in most modern day half ton pickup trucks. Now, as you can see, you have huge windows in the slide out both of your slide side end windows will open for airflow that big panoramic picture window it doesn't but it is nice for some natural light you also have a couple little end tables on each side the only thing i would really like to see them do is put some power outlets in those i think that would be really really nice Let's see if this will go over oh it will for the most part okay so this also has a completely carpetless slide out floor. So this is a matching linoleum floor with the little hem around the edge. That's the way I prefer to see it just because it looks seamless almost. Now if we go over here and we take a seat at the 
left hand theater seat you can see there is your tv now that will pivot around more to face tv this unit just came in so i have not unstrapped that tv yet and then if we go over here from the right hand theater seat that is your view so it's still a pretty decent view of your entertainment system this trailer does a whole bunch of stuff really well and one of the things that that includes is great campsite window coverage so you've got the window in the door the window in the kitchen and this big window over here by the bed next to that tv you are going to see there is your am fm and bluetooth stereo system which is very nice that controls the interior and exterior speakers and then here's that kind of bar set uh setup that i was talking about and the nice thing about this is it gives you a place to sit down eat you know breakfast do a little bit of work because there's a couple of really smartly placed power outlets uh, on the back side of that and it's just a nice feature and you don't see it too often it's kind of a classic feature that's really starting to come back into the rv industry right above that you do have a vent you could always put a max air vent fan in there if you did want to you don't have to but um, you could do that 15k acs are standard in every surveyor now in their 200 series so the 200 the two um I'm sorry, the 202, the 203, uh, and then also their 240 BHLE, as well as their 19 foot series. Those are going to be a non ducted air conditioner. So it just dumps out all right here. It actually gives you a little bit more insulation in the roof compared to a ducted air conditioner. It still is going to give you plenty of cooling power for this size of trailer, though. You also have a white LED accent light above the slide out. Now, I do wish that that was on its own separate switch. That way, you can just turn that on if you need just a little bit of light, if it's movie time or whatever. Your thermostat will be right there next to that kind of picture thing, whatever you want to call it. And then down there is going to be a household outlet plus your propane leak detector. Now, one of the things you won't see in any surveyor is in-floor ducted heating. They use a cabinet ducted heating. So you can see one of your heater vents right down there in the bottom left corner of your screen. And that also is ducted directly into the underbelly. So the nice thing about that, this is a 25-foot trailer that is a four-season trailer. And uh, these do really well in the wintertime, it seems like. I haven't had anybody really complain or, you know, tell me otherwise but they seem to do pretty darn well, which is always a good thing. Last thing before we get to the kitchen storage, right here's going to be your control pan or uh, your solar charge controller for the 80 watt solar package up on the roof. You also have your Audi slide out switch, your lighting controls, and then your Wi Fi booster switch. So this has a built in Wi Fi booster. You can upgrade it to the WineGuard Connect 2.0 that will give you a hotspot in addition to boosting the local Wi-Fi network. You also have some coat hooks right here inside the door, which is also very nice, easy to get to. So, all right, guys, let's go ahead and crack open all of this storage. And why is my, why is my camera doing that? There we go. Um, Apparently my Kimball just decided to um, have a heart attack. But let's go ahead and crack open all of this storage and take a look at that. Okay, so I figured let's knock out all the storage, including the underbed storage and all that good stuff. So you've got underneath your bed, you have a nice big trunk storage area. You can see the box for the 32-inch TV just to give you an idea of space. This is a 60 by 80 true queen bed, so you can find sheets for it, put a new mattress in it, whatever, um, which is very nice. Over here, you've got two full extension plywood box, ball bearing, drawer guided drawers. You'll have a matching set on the other side of the bed. Household and USB outlets down there as well. Emergency exit, all your windows, which I believe I forgot to mention this, are going to have the pleated nightshades. Nice big wardrobes on each side of the bed with the hanging rod in there. And then you have storage that goes all the way across the top of the bed as well. You've got your front windshield there. 
And then back in here, you'll see that this uh, little cubby is pulled off. And the reason I did that is you've got these cool little cubbies over here. So nice little shelf. And then back in here, you have a 110 volt power outlet. The cool thing for that is you are going to be able to put a CPAP machine or phone charger, alarm clock, all that good stuff up there if you do need to. So really, really neat little thing there. Now, if we go over here into the kitchen proper, you've got all pressed membrane, thermal foil style countertops, nice big one basin sink. There are a couple of sink covers for that. I just don't have them out yet. Again, this unit just came in. A couple of uh, household and USB outlets right there. If we take a knee, you can see you have two more sets of household outlets on the underside of that cabinet. You've got great overhead cabinetry space. All this is going to be pocket screwed cabinetry. So if you feel back in here, uh, you can actually feel where the screw goes into the other piece of wood. I really like those darker uh, glass panels as well. Just gives it a nice break up from that wood look. Microwave and hood range vent right there. You're going to have three full extension plywood box. Ball bearing drawer, got it, drawers. And then down there, you've got your central vac with the hoses that come with it. Good storage down here. I really wish they would get rid of that shelf just so you can have, or at least part of it, so you can have a spot for a waste basket. Now over here, you're going to have your three burner cooktop with a glass cover, oven down below in case you want to do some baking. And then back in here, you're going to have a utensil holder, a knife block, and then you've got your cutting board and they did start finishing both sides of these between uh, me and shout out to Joss the RV nerd. Surveyor has decided to make that running change. Back here you've got a huge pantry with another bonus drawer down below. There's your breakers and fuses. And then right here you're going to have your... 12 volt DC compressor fridge. This little box here, that is your tire pressure monitor system panel that comes with every one of these. And then here is your freezer. The cool thing with these DC compressor fridges is they're fully travel safe. They only use like three amps of power an hour, which is nothing. Um, they cool down in like 45 minutes too, which is very nice. It's very quick, unlike the two days before you leave, like the old gas electric style. Um, this is what's going to replace gas and electric refrigerators in the RV industry. And it's, they've just, everybody's using them now. Um, and I really do like them. They just work well. My parents hemisphere, big fifth wheel has a larger version of this fury on one. And I, I tell you, we have no complaints about it. So let's go ahead. Now we'll take a look at the bathroom and see what it has to offer. So stepping on to the inside of the bathroom here, you've got a porcelain foot flush lever toilet, GFI protected outlet. Great storage underneath the sink there as well as plumbing access. You've got your TP holder right there. Great linen cabinetry space over here. Now that it is open, so just keep that in mind. Robe hooks or towel hooks right there. You've got your full inch foot fan up top to uh, take care of Taco Tuesday. Nice medicine cabinet with a mirror with the toothbrush holders down there. And you'll get to look at my goofy face there just for a second. Nice thermal foil countertops. Little backsplash here. That's kind of neat. Decent sized sink. And then you've got a 30 by 36 inch shower with the slow close door. And you can be upwards of 6'5 and still shower in here very comfortably because of the taller sidewalls and the skylight. So, again, if you're a taller person, this may be a good trailer for you. So, let's go ahead now. We'll close it up and look at it in road mode. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to start uh, speeding up the slide out coming in and going back out. That way you can see how much room you gain. So I'm going to say this one doesn't really get a travel access as far as sleeping. 
since you do kind of lose out on that just a little bit, getting up to the bedroom, you could always do that if you had to. You can get to all of your kitchen space, though, which is very nice. So that whole peninsula there is accessible, including the drawers. And as you can see here, you can get to the refrigerator since it's right inside the entry door. Pantry you can easily get to. And there is the bathroom. You can easily get to that as well. So I'm going to give this one a A+. Plus. For travel access so uh real quick i'll shut up and we'll put this slide out back out so there you go and it's amazing how much these slide outs look or uh, make as far as um giving you the extra space so let's go ahead now and we'll go out to the outside Okay guys, so we're on the outside of this 202 RBLE. Starting up front here, you have your nice fiberglass uh, front and exterior with the automotive grade windshield, two 20 pound propane tanks, power tongue jack, seven way plug holder right there. You've got a dog leash clip or safety chain holder on the other side. Battery disconnect and tire pressure monitor repeater. So there's that uh, safety chain clip. This is going to have four corner stabilizer jacks. Those are going to be manual, which I really like. They hold a lot more weight and they, you know, they just work all the time um, unless you drag the things off like I've seen so many times uh, over the years, but they just seem to work. The electric ones, they're, they're nice, but they just have a lot more problems. So right here's your pass through storage. You have a motion sensor light, as you can see there. There's the griddle that comes with the outside kitchen. And you've got the three quarters jack adapter bit for your uh, drill for those. If we take a look underneath the trailer, there's not much going on because you've got the fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly. So that is gonna give you some great four season use out of this. You've got a nice power awning with LED lights, plus the porch light and backlit outside speakers. Right here is going to be your outside camp kitchen. So you, this little tray here is for the griddle, propane quick connect underneath that, and then you've got your space for a sink basin that comes with the trailer, and huh, ice cube trays apparently wanted to fall out, but uh, there is your little mini fridge. There we go. We do this live, so. Some stuff like this happens. I don't really edit my videos other than just to stitch the clips together. You've got cable and power here, plus a cold water spray port. This is a tandem axle. So the nice thing there is you have an extra tire in case you have a blowout to limp over to the side of the road. Black aluminum wheels. You got your more ride step above steps with the little, I'm not sure how well it's, there's actually a little light back in there to illuminate the steps at night, which is kind of cool. Black glass entry door, larger entry assist handle. And then Surveyor is an Asdell product. And they use it more than anybody else. So what Asdell is, it's a composite green based material that won't delaminate on you. Um, it also is waterproof, mold proof, mildew proof, has twice the insulation value of wood and is 50% lighter, which is really cool. This is also going to have 12 volt heat pads on all the holding tanks. Ladder to get up onto the fully walkable PVC roof with the 80 watt solar package up there. Backup camera prep and the optional uh, rear travel rack. As we come over here, you've got your 30 amp service. City water, black tank flush and cable and power, uh, cable and satellite hookups. And then down here is where you dump your black and gray tanks. Notice how it's tucked up real nice to the frame. That is one of the things that Surveyor does really well. Keep you from dragging the thing off. Right here is your slide out. This is prepped for the Solaris slide awning toppers, which I don't recommend, but hey, if you want to waste your money, they, you can put them on there. And then up here, you're going to have your city water or nope fresh water connection, excuse me, and your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. So, all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the 2023 Forest River Surveyor Legend Model 202 RBLE. 
If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions or if you'd like pricing and availability, I'll leave you a link where you can check that on our website at any time. You can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or you can send us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. Also, feel free to leave us any questions, comments, or feedback in the video, uh, the video comment section down below. So that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you could, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe and notification bell. That will keep you up to date on all of our videos. And it really helps us with the YouTube algorithm if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. So with that being said, guys, remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers, and we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this one. We thank you very much for watching. We hope that you enjoyed and found this video informative, and we'll talk to you again very soon.